They certainly will, and they've won their last seven here, so no wonder these Adelaide fans are foaming at the mouth, Case. Looking forward to this one, Sean. Yeah, absolutely. How is the defense going to respond to this Adelaide team? Wesley down low again, short of single coverage. Works into the paint, needs help. Here's Boone for the flush. That's a way to open your scoring account. Yeah, both these teams really want to pressure you, get in you, make you, force you into mistakes. What a high quality finish from Casper Ware. Auburn in front by a point. Here's Childress against Wesley. Spinning baseline. Tough shot. Great tee from Wesley again. For to restart for Adelaide. Now shorter. Elevates baseline. Can't complete it. Ding with a tip in on the buzzer. It counts. And another two for Adelaide. Looks to penetrate. Bounces into Wesley. He's got his number again. Terrific defensive pressure. Now Adelaide have got to get this up with one on the shot clock. And Creek puts the lid on it. Five and a half to play in the first half. Barlow for Braver. They gave him some latitude. He's got his range now. He knocks down another triple. Golding gets beyond Moore. Confronted by Johnson. Decides to fire the long ball. And Golding comes up with a finish. Not to worry. Boone out of the points. And now Adelaide. Stretch the floor. Sobe firing the three. Looks good. Is good. Doral, Ty Wesley. Now he's going to do the ball carrying as well. Feed shorter against Casper Ware. High off the glass. Can't complete it. Johnson, a man amongst boys, gets the OR of the putback too. And the fans love it. it. Was caught between a pass and a shot. And they've turned it over. Here's Sobe exploring. Johnson from outside. <laughs> Here they go. Can't complete it. Shorter gets after the offensive rebound. Number 13 for Adelaide in that category, and it's finished with another three. Hands over to Casper Ware. Hasn't seen a lot of it. Now Prather, shot clock to 10. Makes a beeline to the hoop, and nice finish again with a non-preferred left hand. 20. Long time since I've seen this Melbourne United team out rebounded like this. Oh, the three ball is good. Melbourne desperately needed that. 90 seconds to play, term number three. Anderson with a height advantage on Ramon Moore, spins baseline. How about that for a big time play? Oh, Cats, but here's Anderson again in that mismatch against Ramon Moore. This time he gets the triple team. Barlow is open for the three, and here come Melbourne. This range or a golden opportunity slips through their fingers. David Anderson still was behind play there after copping a whack to the face, and Adelaide get the two. Almost in unison with the game clock as we head towards three quarter time. Drimmick to guard Prather, and he came up with a finish. Casey Prather now with 18 points. <laughs> Melbourne this year at three-quarter time was nine in Wollongong against Illawarra. Here's Creek going to work, adding another two. The cut's it for Casper. And you think Melbourne's chances of winning are looking slimmer by the moment. Sobe to work. Tougher <laughs> to defend and scout before you could really focus on Randall. Stop him, you're going to stop Adelaide. You can't do that. There's not one guy you can just pick and say, we've got to stop. Entry again here. Seven and a half to play, though. They've got some work to do. Up 14. Sobe just muscles his way beyond Golding. He's playing with three fouls to add another two. Creek bounces off prey. The that team's in the bonus. And Creek goes coast to coast and muscles his way in for another two. They have come up strong. It's taken them six goes and over 12 months, but Adelaide has prevailed over Melbourne, and the grand final series is tied at one apiece. Full time in Adelaide. It's 110-95, and we are at 1-1.